Hey guys, Link264, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. Post commentary! Because. Here. You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer you. Thank you. No, thank you. Yes, post commentary because uh, I accidentally deleted the audio commentary file. But, as you can see, we are coming now to the riverboat landing. You! Are you going to Point Lookout? I need your help. My daughter stowed away on the Duchess Gambit a few weeks ago, and I've been worried sick ever since. I haven't heard anything from her, but if you're going there, could you look for her? Please, I'll do anything to help. I can't promise anything, but I'll look for her. Oh, bless you. Her name is Nadine, and she left a couple of weeks ago. Said she wanted to see the world. Silly little thing that she is. That Tobar said he dropped her off at Point Lookout, but who knows what's happened to her since then. I don't know if you can convince my little Nadine to come back, but just give her this note from me, would you? Do you know anything about Point Lookout? Only that it's where Tobar gets those punga fruits he sells off. Must be making a good profit off of them, too. I hear rumors the place is full of swamps and killer plants, but I don't know about all that. What can you tell me about your daughter? She's about your age, and when she left her hair was dyed bright orange, you shouldn't have any problem recognizing her. She told me she wanted to go find her fortune, but I thought it was too dangerous. I should have known better than to say that moment I told her she couldn't go, it was just a matter of time before she ran off. I need to be going. Please, find my daughter. Okay, and now let's talk to this guy. Welcome, my friend. I am Tobar the Ferryman, and this fine vessel is the Duchess Gambit. We're just back from Point Lookout, but it won't be long before we set off again. Interested? That might be. What's so special about Point Lookout? You look like a man who's been around the wastes, so I'll cut right to it. In Point Lookout, you'll find fresh-grown food, mysterious locales, and treasures as of yet unlooted. But keep your wits about you, because you'll find more than a few exotic critters and inhospitable locals. So stay here if you're not man enough. Nice boat. Must have seen a lot of places with it. You should have seen her back in her heyday. Why, we traveled up and down the coast from the Commonwealth to the Broken Banks. Good times, but these days she's not fit to take out to the coast. Too many spouts ready to drown her and too many critters looking for lunch. But the Point Lookout run is good enough for now. We've got a sweet deal ferrying cargo and the occasional traveler. I'd like to buy a ticket. Looking for fame and fortune? <clears throat> Hoping to cultivate the delicious punga fruit? I'll take Or just looking to run away from your life on these dreary shores. So yeah, <coughs> post commentary. Um, not very, um, not how I like to do things, let's put it that way. But, I did quite a bit in this uh, video, so I'm watching this video as you are watching it, but I'm speaking over it as well. So I best like remember what I was doing and whatever. Do I need anything else? Once you've got a ticket, just head into the cabin and settle in on the cot. We'll be there in no time. The girl named Nadine caught a ride on your ship. Any idea where she is? Ah, Nadine. Sprightly little tomboy with more curiosity than common sense, that one. <laughs> Caused so much trouble on the trip that I probably would have thrown her overboard <laughs> if she hadn't reminded me of myself at her age. I haven't seen her since we hit land at Point Lookout. But knowing her, I'll bet she's gotten herself in plenty of trouble. Okay, I'm going I, I have to go now. Good travels to you. See, this is going to be quite a bit uh, weird, because I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what, I, I can't remember what I actually, you know, what speech things I chose, but we don't speak to many people, so well, we should be alright. Now, as you say, Go on the cot. I'm ready to travel to Point Lookout. And now I'll leave you with this little interlude. A little bit of music and 
a sort of movie-esque entrance to Point Lookout. Dogmeat is waiting outside Vault 101. Right, well, uh, let's go back and talk to this guy again. Welcome to Point Lookout, my friend. The trip was fine. The weather's nice and damp, and everything out there looks pleasant as ever. Looks like nothing's changed since my last visit, except all that smoke I saw on the way in. Should I be worried? What's over there? Oh, nothing much. Just old Calvert Mansion. Just a huge abandoned estate teeming with who knows what opportunities for profitable scavenging. You know, nothing much. I know I said Point Lookout was perfect for treasure hunters, but it's a rare day when you get a beacon like that. Well, uh, any place you're recommending Point Lookout? Depends what you're looking for. If you need supplies, head to the shop over at the end of these docks. Convenient? And I get caps for referring you. If you need a place to stay, there's an old motel further into town. The beds there are still pretty soft, even if it's because they're full of lice. And if you're looking for some hunting, there's a fella named Plick who runs a club out in the northeast. Strictly for high rollers, though. Okay, I have to go now. Good travels to you. Right. <clears throat> this is Point Lookout, and as you can see on the map, there are places to discover. This is where we're supposed to be going, the Calvert Mansion, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to do some discovering. Visit this shop and... Uh, there is <coughs> someone that I want to see here who has a 100% repair skill. So I want to get my plasma rifle fixed. Now, as it came up, Dogmeat is not with us because he has... Uh, you can, most DLC, you can't take uh, companions with you. So... There is no dog meat. And as that guy said, there should be a shop here near the front. He said just at the end of the pier. Turns out it's not just at the end of the pier. I couldn't find it. I did find it eventually, but it's not where he described it as. But, ah well, we do eventually find it. Uh, this is a trash compactor. The compactor has no power. Oh, fair enough. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd check things out, and uh, workman's coveralls and yeast, I believe, both came in Point Lookout. Uh, but we don't need them, so we left them there. I'm gonna say, what's that? These were a brick. Turn my light on. Uh, nothing down there. And this is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, this, I want to know how to turn this on. See, activate electrical switch. This object is activated some, from somewhere else. And I went, oh, But, yeah. You probably can't even get it on, I don't know. Uh, Point Lockout is not my favourite DLC. But it's not bad. It's definitely not the worst. That's still to come. Confederate hat. Yes, my worst is still to come. It's actually probably going to come after I've done Point Lookout. <coughs> As there isn't that much left to do. Didn't know if this was hostile or not. And because I travelled somewhere else, it... Um, well, it unequipped my weapon anyway. I thought I thought it had uh, taken away the binding, but it didn't. Move along, please. So this is our first shop. Panada something. Well, hello there, young traveller. The fates had told me that I would receive a visitor today. But I'm being rude. I am Madame Panada, 
And this is Madame Panada's House of Wares. For all things a traveler needs, I am here to provide. Bullets, stim packs, armor, weapons, junk. If you need it, Madame Panada has already anticipated your need and procured it months ago. Ah, uh, can you repair some things for me? Of course. I Five repair skill. That is just pathetic. Show me what you have for sale. And what is it you would like to purchase? I can't remember. Uh, lever action rifle you can see there. Uh, and the shovel. I believe they were added with point lookout. So I'm going to take the stim packs. And I think I'd mess about with the ammo a bit as well. Uh, well I've got a minute now because I can't remember what I was saying. Uh, obviously when I can't remember what I was saying when I recorded it live. Um, now that I've started using the plasma rifle for the last couple of episodes, and I'm going to keep using it from now on, I was thinking the other day, I thought, okay, I'll look on the Fallout wiki, see if there's a unique plasma rifle, maybe it'll do a little bit more damage and things. Turns out I've already had it, haven't I? And I sold it. I'm never going to use plasma weapons, I don't like them, they shit. Yeah, I had it, I sold it. I'm pretty sure I sold it anyway. Uh, it's the one that we got from Flack, no not Flack, um, Harkness, when we did, uh, when we finished the replicated man quest, where we had to find the android thing and yeah. So he gave us the A321 I think it was, uh, plasma rifle, to go and kill Dr. Zimmer, but yeah. I do believe it's gone. Which is a bit of a bummer, but it doesn't do too much extra damage. There's a better chance of a uh, critical chance where the enemy turns into goo, but that's about it. I have to go now. Return again, young traveller? I don't think I will be. Because it's a bit of a shit shot, to be quite honest. Uh, yeah. So how far along are we? We are 12 and a half minutes in. There's probably about half an hour left or something. I can't remember. Um, yeah. Enemies that we'll find, well in the start of it anyway, vicious dogs and mole rats. Uh, yeah, point lookout, like I say, it's not my favourite one. But it's definitely not the worst. This probably comes fourth on the list of five. Uh, first is Operation Anchorage. This is my top five. Operation Anchorage, The Pit, Broken Steel, this, and Mothership Zeta. So, yeah. sit back and watch me kill more rats. So I missed that one then. I'm sure I miss him again. Oh, that might have been in a different video. I'm not sure. In one of the videos I missed a mole rat twice before hitting him. It might still be in this one, I don't know, but I doubt it. Uh, so this is the Homestead Hotel. Or Motel, I can't see. I'm sat back. I'm, I'm chilling. Um, got my glass of coke. Oliver's asleep at the side of me. And yeah. So I think I'll start on the left hand side. But first I'm going to hail it hardware. Hail it is the person who has the 100% repair skill. But things are not as they seem. As you will soon find out. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. No. That was, an, that, that was an amazing program. I absolutely love Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Not so much Dragon Ball. Not so much GT, but I did like GT. But Dragon Ball Z, oh. I want all the Dragon Ball Z. Apparently there's uh, this Dragon Ball Z Kai, which is basically Dragon Ball Z um, remastered. And I've seen the, well, my favourite episode, uh, where Goku turns Super Saiyan for the first time. 
I've seen that. I've got I've got that um, episode. Um, but I, I really want every episode. I want you know, the Saiyan Saga, Freezer Saga, Cell, Boo. I just want all of them. And I just sit there. One one. I'll just one day I'll just say it right. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna watch all of them. I would absolutely love that. But English dubbed the uh, English dubbed DVDs. Uh, one very hard to find, and two when you do find them very expensive. Um, and even though yes, it is pirating, I haven't found them anywhere to download English dubbed. Oh, hollow tip, no. Blue, couldn't raise you on the phone this morning, so I'm having Jenny bring you this note. Your delivery for the store got turned around on those new roads and had an accident. He's run off the road by the cathedral. They'll need some time to sort things out, but P P Pagano probably won't want to wait that long to replace the lighthouse beacon bulbs. You might want to get over to the wreck yourself and hand deliver the bulbs. Ah, well I can do that. But I'll do that in a bit. So this is Haley's Hardware. Well, hello there. Welcome to, uh, welcome to Haley's Hardware, where we have hardware. Is something wrong? Uh, no, no, not at all. I'm just not used to people all the way out here. My usual customers, well, I usually smell them before I see them. Who are your usual customers? The swamp folk, mostly. I guess they don't bother me none because I was born here. They mostly trade meat and fruit. Never any cash or goods. The mercs are good for some trade and real hardware. So if you need ammo or anything like that, I can help you out. Uh, so how long have you had this store? Oh, you're thinking... Uh, no, no, it's not a family thing. I took the name of the store when I found this place a couple of years ago. Truth is, I don't even remember much before that. I woke up here with a headache a couple of years ago with the shop already set up. People came in and started trading. I didn't complain. It just became a job. Where do you get your stock from? I found some of it. Some was here when I got here. I got some from the Mercs. And every once in a while, that weirdo with the boat comes up here and trades a few good things. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing. Are you here to buy something? Uh, can you repair some things for me? All I right, got all <laughs> sorts of stuff. Take a look. Alright, uh, yeah, I was uh while I was talking about Dragon Ball Z there and the DVDs and whatever, I was picking up everything that were outside. I thought, well, it, you know, there's no calm loss or anything like that. I might as well pick all the crap up that's outside and sell it. You know, maybe get a repair for free. But then I ended up buying things and, yeah. I did make a little bit of money, but I probably should have repaired them before selling them, but ah well. Yeah, I did end up making a bit of money, but... Some's better than none. I mean, we have got 25,000 caps at the minute. <coughs> and we're coming up to the end of the LP. I know, I know, you're sad. As much as uh, it's been dragging on a bit, I'll probably be sad when it's finished. But don't worry. Other things are coming. Can you repair some things for me now? I ain't met the gun I couldn't fix. Repair skill of 16, and I was like, what? This guy's supposed to have a hundred. So I thought, okay. I ain't met the gun I couldn't fix. Well, but be careful out there. Them swap folk is nasty. Okay, well, uh... And then I couldn't find the door to get out. Yeah. I felt a bit stupid after I found it, but yeah, I couldn't find the door to get out. Like, what the... Oh, there it is. So I thought, we'll go out and come back in and see if that's, that's done all. Y'all here to buy something? Step right in. I ain't met the gun I couldn't fix. It hasn't. So I thought, okay, I'll repair stuff. Yep, yep. There's not much to tell. What do you want to know? Oh, we've already done that. Sure thing. Are you here to buy something? I have to go now. Come back anytime. Them swamp folk types are always bringing me new stuff. So now I need the opportunity to go and look of what I've done wrong here. So I grab my iPhone, I go on the uh, go on Safari, look at the Fallout Wiki and see that um, 
It says, Haley is one of the locals are on point lookout. He's the store manager and owner of Haley's Hardware. Shush. Haley's Hardware in the year 2277. He's the only merchant capable of fully repairing vendor repair only items such as the T51B power armor and the shady hat. Repairs up to 100%. Has a star next to it. Only when using the glitch, eventually his repair hits 100%. I also can do repairs if you need it. Shush. With every successive successive visit to Haley's Hardware, Haley's repair skill increases by five points, up to a maximum of a hundred points. The increases in skill are permanent and are an inevitable consequence of frequent visits to his shop f throughout the game. It requires that the shop be reloaded by the player's system. This is achieved by walking far enough away to load a new cell and then walking back and re-entering the shop. The end of the dock to the south is far away enough. Alternatively, and the fastest way too, you just have to walk outside and open the nuke cola machine and then walk back in and his skill will rise. That was excellent timing on that. <laughs> but, as you've just seen, I've done that. Good to see y'all alive, friend. And I it didn't work. Gun I couldn't fix. So, the next thing. Another way to make his Good repair skill go up you. is to enter his shop, then go outside and quick save and then enter his shop again. So there's a quick save. Go back inside. Y'all here to buy something? Sure, and it still hasn't gone up. Squishy. So I be thought, careful right. Well, what we're going to have to do then is we're going to have to do the fast travel thing. So the dock is there. And then we we'll go back to his shop. Enter, and it should be going up by five every time we do that. So now we should have twenty-one. Buy something? Which sure, it does. Swamp folks head is squishy. So I go away and I do that. Probably took me about ten minutes. Oh no, I do it one more time on screen first. Uh, let me just inch my ear. Oh, that felt good. <sighs> so yeah, now that we've done it twice, it should be Welcome up to 26. Because it started on 16. Sure, swamp folks so sure squishy. enough, it what? Come. So, I need to do it about another 10 or, well, and more than that. So, I do that, go away, come back, and magically he has 100. Do yeah, like I say, it took me about 10 minutes so to do it. To so, call that out for back you. To Haley's Hardware. Can you repair some things for me? Sure as a swamp. 100 percent squishy. So the winterized T fifty one B power armor and helmet don't actually go up or anything like that, but yeah, I might as well uh, repair everything to hundred percent. So repair all. I have to go now. Good doing business with you. <clears throat> right. Now I'm going to leave. Alright, what time are we at? 23.20. Okay, well, uh, what do I do now? I actually can't remember. Where am I going? Your guess is as good as mine at the minute. Ah, uh, dollies. Yeah, you'll, what you'll see about uh, round and about point lookout are punga fruit. Ah, I'm discovering the ritual site. And we have an enemy. What is that, a super mutant? Oh god derp it! It's a tracker. Look at that face. Pretty tough enemies I must say. Yeah. Kill derpy, kill derpy. No shit. Axis, they're new I think. Wild Punga Fruit, that's what I was just talking about. Yeah, you'll see it um, growing, well, I'm guessing it's growing, all around Point Lookout. Uh, so now we'll go to the Beat View campsite. So what I'm going to do is try and collect as much of it as I can, but as with everything else that I collect, it's probably just going to go into storage or get um, get sold. Um, one thing I will mention, I don't need to, but I, I can't remember what I was talking about at the time, so I'm going to mention it now. 
Um, when you travel, we've discovered Beach View Composite. Cha-ching! Yes, uh, now I'm going to start on the left side of the map. So I'm going to go there, and yeah. Uh, when we set off from the Capital Wasteland to come to Point Lookout, the boat trip took 30 days in game time. So it's a month later. Travelling back takes 30 days as well, so every time you travel here, a month passes. Now time isn't really a big thing in this game, so it doesn't really mean anything. Well, time of day is. Time, as in date, is not. So, yeah. Now we're going to discover the left side of the map. Uh, how, long, how long's left? I would say about 10, 13, 14 minutes or something. I'm not sure to be quite honest with you. Mole rats. Yes, that, that one. That one was the one that I, hit, I missed twice. See that? I missed him twice and then I got him with the third one. That's pretty pathetic to say it's a mole rat against a plasma rifle at about 99%. But you know, ah well. Can't remember what this place is called, but we shall soon see. It's called Disaster Relief Outpost. Now these places, I'm discovering them, but I'm not going to check them. At least not yet. I probably won't check any of them. Point Lookout is one of those. It's the DLC that I've um, obviously because I've got all the achievements on the uh, Xbox 360 version of the game, you know, 1550 out of 1550 achievement points. Um, one of the achievements for Point Lookout is to discover all locations in Point Lookout. Obviously it's a PS3 trophy, a Xbox 360 achievement and a Windows Live, a Games Windows Live achievement as well. But the reason I've been doing Games Windows Live achievements on this playthrough is because the graphical UI mod uh, that makes it smaller and you know you know what I'm on about that uh, when you've got that enabled you can't have games windows live enabled but I think we've done alright without it I think I prefer it with this uh, graphics mod than getting achievements uh, we'd be nearly done with the achievements actually as well, I think. Um, yeah. I think, what the hell's that? But it's nothing. <coughs> so, we've discovered the Dove Delta. Now it's over to. I didn't see what that said. Yeah, I didn't see what it said, but fair enough. Really don't like doing post commentary, even though I talk a lot more than I do in usual live LP, uh, live commentary. I think, I, well, I'm, I'm guessing I do, but I think it's because I'm, I'm concentrating on the speech now, not on the gameplay. Uh, I'm just enjoying the game, but, well, yeah, I suppose you could say enjoying. Now, this place over here. It's one place I definitely will be coming back to, but we'll we'll kill this guy first. Kill the tracker. Hey, stop that. There we go. Yeah, Black Hole Manor I think it's called. Um, this is one place I probably will come back to. It looks rather interesting. Point Lookout's one of those DLCs that I didn't, you know, I just came in, did what I needed to do and then got back out. Um, probably as you do with most, L uh, most DLCs, but yeah. Obviously, I discovered everywhere for the achievement, but I didn't. I, I didn't go in everywhere. Uh, I mean, the whole of Point Lookout is about a fifth, 
I think, a fifth or a sixth of the whole Capital Wasteland map. I think, I think it's uh, about that anyway. Uh, what's that? Didn't say you can grow a shack or something like that. Yeah. We haven't picked any wild punga fruit from plants yet, but we're going to start doing that soon. Uh, we've got a few bloat flies here. I'm not going to waste my uh, MF cells on them. Not when I can just do that. Sacred bog entrance is... Uh, Discovered jet crash site. <clears throat> uh, some I need, yeah, I'm going to look at that now actually while while it's reminded me. Get the Fallout wiki up. Uh, jet crash site. Jet crash site. Now I'm not going to tell you what I'm looking at. Obviously, you know I'm looking at the jet crash site, but. Uh, don't really tell me a lot. Um, each of you, two minutes. That's better. Right, um, yeah, something I'll try to look at, but I'll tell you in a minute. I was trying to find out, figure out the mystery. Here's bunga fruit, by the way. Wild bunga fruit, so, yep, I start picking it now. Um, try to work out the mystery of the jet crash site. Because as you'll see, all is not as appears. I mean, we've got to get to it first, but yeah. Another new enemy when we do get to it. Bunga punga 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 fruit wild bunga fruit Oh went quiet for a minute. But I see the plane or oh, the jet. Same thing. Up oh, up uh, Swamp Ghouls. A feral ghoul reaver. Beautiful. A stim pack, very nice. I hate reavers. Have I ever mentioned that? Do I actually have my claws on? Yeah, he got stuck. Yeah, no, I didn't. Yes, I have my claws on. I wasted a shot there at the end, but ah oh well, one l lousy single bottle cap. Beautiful. Uh, yes, here's the jet. I'll just uh, take everything first. I've already done that. Shovel, didn't want that. I thought it were an axe. Axe, axe. By the way, I don't know why I'm picking up axes, but yeah, here's all the dead bodies and uh, black box recorder. Mm, black box recording. I'll listen to that in a minute. Combat helmet. So they were obviously some some sort of army thing, I believe. Oh god. And 
not too much good stuff there really to be honest. Another axe. And some ammunition. Right, you're gonna play it then. Go on lad. No, you're gonna repair your axes first. I don't know why I'm getting axes, but yeah. Drop that. <clears throat> right, black box recording. Air Command, we have multiple flashpoints on horizon. Come back. Air Command, USN 350 requesting landing vector. Have zero ceiling visibility and low on state. Somebody get me a landing clearance. State 1 plus 1, 0 to splash. Have zero read on outer marker. This is USN 350. I'm blind out here. Attempting emergency landing over water. INS pinger active on distress band. Flaps up. Descent to eight cherubs. Three green over. Five cherubs. Tree line up. Throttle easy on four lights. Prepping to pull the loud handle. And that didn't really give me much insight. Everything sounded fine then. You know, there were except for the fact that they had a lot of visibility and things, everything looked uh, everything seemed okay. So yeah. Why did they crash? Did they get shot down or something? I don't know. On the Fallout Wiki it says nothing. And it says nothing on how I can find out either. My god. Ah, another axe. Uh, what were I doing here? Why have I stopped? No idea. Maybe I was taking a drink, I don't know. Punga fruit. Ah, this is why I don't do post commentary, it's quite boring. I knew I heard something! I knew I heard something! <laughs> It's a creeper. It's all like a creeper to me. <laughs> For a start, it's not green enough. No, that's a bit better. <laughs> that were, I don't, yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that to be honest. That, that worked out okay. <laughs> it's not green enough. Oh, now it is. Now this, this uh, this guy shooting me with a uh, lever action rifle, it actually does quite a lot of damage. Look at that. It nearly kills me. Well, so that's just a lever action rifle. And like I said, it did quite a lot of damage. So, I'm going to have to use that, I think. Barrel shotgun and shells. Oh, let's go in here. Trapper shack. That were outside, I think. Oh, it was there. Yeah. Do nothing. So my light on. Have a look inside. Well, they obviously butchered whoever's uh, in here. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting sheds. And I found one. Oh, very nice. 10 millimeter Chinese pistol, trunk, and fishing pole. Fair enough, nothing else of value. Uh, stealth boy, I suppose. Nope, nothing else. Whiskey, or alcohol at least. Fishing battery, no. Another axe, so. Don't know why I'm collecting axes. I just am. And I believe that is all I have done. So next time I'll probably go to the flooded sinkhole and everywhere else. But for now. Whoa, why is it flickering? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna save the game. Well, I already have done. 
but I shall see you next time guys, take care.